today. Andy's burning CPUs may be way worse than we thought, though they have a fix. NVIDIA ends this super card, AMD's next GPU is finally on the way, and Ryzen 8000 is a massive change. Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. First up for today, Andy looks to have found and solved the issue with burning CPUs, but it looks much worse than we thought. For those who haven't heard, some users have been having issues with AMD's Ryzen 7000 X3D chips burning up, like in this case where it literally caused the CPU to bulge and damage the motherboard socket. Luckily, AMD has officially found the root cause and gave a statement to Anantec. As you can see, they claim to have issued a new Agisa update, which is what goes into the BIOS of your motherboard. And according to AMD, the update prevents your CPU from operating beyond its spec limits, including a voltage limit of 1.3 volts. Remember that the 3 dv cache in AMD's X3D parts is very sensitive to high voltages. With that said, as Anantec points out, they don't specifically mention the X3D parts. It sounds like they're saying all Ryzen 7000 chips. So while we've only really seen this with their X3D parts, it could eventually become an issue for their regular 7000 chips as well. Now they go on to claim that the fix does not affect the ability of the processors to overclock memory with Expo or XMP profiles. If you saw my last video, you know that Dur Bowers seemed to find that everyone who had issues were using Expo profiles. So as one user mentioned, they think it was allowing the CPU to pull more voltage. Whether that's the case or not, we're not sure, but AMD has officially fixed it. And according to their statement, they expect all of their board partners to release new BIOS updates over the next few days, so be on the lookout for those. And like I mentioned, that seems to include those with the regular Ryzen 7000 series as well. So wait, that, that's me, I guess I need to update mine. At this point, everyone's heard of AI and all the incredible things it can do. Well, now you can have the power of AI built right into your browser with today's sponsor. Opera, one of the first browsers to go live with generative AI. In fact, both ChatGPT and ChatSonic are now just a click away anytime when using Opera's incredible browser. Plus, you can ask contextual questions related to whatever website you're at. Like you can shorten lengthy text from a blog you don't have time to read, or ask it to create a tweet about a home you like on Zillow. That's pretty cool. And Opera has a ton more features as well, like their wallpapers, which let you customize your browser with fun animated and non-animated wallpapers. This one is pretty sweet, I have to admit. Oh, and I love being able to check out my Twitter right in the sidebar at all times. Opera is just a really well thought out and fun browser. And speaking of fun, I created my own pin board that shows all the sources from today's video. So check that out and download Opera for free by visiting the link in the description below. Next up for today, MSI recently released a series of new GPUs they called the RTX 3060 Ti Super 3X. Later on, they changed the name to Super 3X without a space, so clearly something was going on in the background. Well, according to a new tweet from HKEPC, NVIDIA has forced MSI to recall these GPUs, regardless of it being Super 3X that has a space or without. Basically, given NVIDIA's already used the Super moniker in the past with their RTX 20 Super GPU, they didn't like how close the name was, and that's obviously understandable given their super cards were significantly faster than the non-super variants, similar to what the company does with the TI models. And the story does seem to be true given MSI has taken down the product from their site. Needless to say, Nvidia wasn't happy about this release. Next up, we finally have word on the actual release date and embargo for AMD's next GPU. Specifically, we're talking their RX 7600 XT, so the much more affordable card and one that most gamers would likely go after. Don't forget that while everyone gets excited about the highest and fastest GPUs, and it definitely is interesting, but most gamers don't want to spend a grand on just a graphics card, especially given GPU prices in general have been getting higher and higher over the years. Either way, the story comes from a new tweet by Moore's Law is Dead, where he claims that press sampling for the card will begin on May 15th. Then MSRP reviews will be on May 24th, with the release on May 25th. Finally, the models that are above MSRP will get reviewed a day later. And I have to admit, that part is pretty annoying. Nvidia adjusted this with their RTX 4070, and it forces you to risk not getting a card to wait on the review. Luckily, with the 4070, cards have been available since release, so hopefully that's the case here as well. Either way, if this is right, AMD's new GPU is less than a month away. 
And lastly for today, it looks like AMD's Ryzen 8000 CPUs are set to be a game-changing release. I mean, we're talking a massive leap in performance due to something big. If you remember a little while back, I discussed a benchmark of AMD's next-gen Zen 5 architecture shown by the company Tens Torrent. The reason that matters so much is because the CEO is a former AMD executive who should have knowledge of AMD's plans for future architectures. In the graph, it showed a whopping 30% performance uplift when compared to their current architecture, and that's in single core performance. In fact, it was 30% on the dot, so I'd say that's not a coincidence. And that brings us to the story, which comes from a new video by Leaker Adored TV, where he makes a pretty huge reveal. For those who don't know, AMD's Zen 1 and Zen 2 effectively used a crossbar as an interconnect to get to 8 cores. Zen 3, on the other hand, used an 8 core chiplet with a bi-directional ring bus. These are all used to stop communication bottlenecks across the different cores. Well, according to this, AMD is planning a new ladder fabric, which cuts any kind of bottleneck even more. Not only that, but according to the leak, he is stating that AMD actually has working chips with two and even up to three megabytes of L2 cache. Remember that from Zen 3 to Zen 4, AMD doubled the L2 cache to one megabyte. But if this is right, AMD could double or even triple that yet again. And according to this, going to two megabytes increases the IPC alone by 4% and 7% with 3 megabytes of L2 cache. Once again, that's just the IPC. So that's without clock changes. And he's not even sure if that's Zen 5 or Zen 4. So it could be even bigger. Basically, if this is right, AMD's next-gen CPUs are set to be a massive change and certainly a big performance jump over Ryzen 7000. So while that does it for today, are you pumped for AMD's next-gen Ryzen 8000? Or are you just ready for AMD's more affordable GPU? Let me know down in the comments below. And don't forget to try out AI in Opera's browser down in the description below. And as always, have a great day!